Man United. Galatasaray are openly interested in signing Scott McTominay, while a report claims Manchester United have already rejected multiple bids for him already this summer. McTominay came close to leaving the Red Devils last year amid interest from West Ham United, but a deal was not finalised and he went on to play a major role in their 2023-24 campaign, scoring 10 goals in 43 appearances across all competitions. That form has not gone unnoticed outside of United, and the Manchester Evening News report that the club have knocked back several offers for McTominay in recent weeks. United still value homegrown talent McTominay highly. He has one year left to run on his contract, though the club retain the option to extend this by a further 12 months. When West Ham made a £30 million bid for the Scotland International last year, United went back and asked for £40 million instead, at which point the move fell apart. If that remains McTominay's price tag, then it is unlikely to be met by any of his current suitors. Galatasaray Vice Chairman Ibrahim Hatipoglu has admitted the reigning Turkish champions are locked in talks with United over a fee for McTominay and are also looking at Tottenham Hotspur's Pierre-Mil Hudjag and Ren Geladu, but they are not interested in Aaron Wam Basaka. McTominay's transfer fee is being discussed, Hatipoglu said to Habasari Kermizi. Pierre-Mil Hudjag is a good player, he has many suitors, he wants to see all options. There is no talk of single-digit figures for right-back and midfield transfers. But we have allocated a budget of less than 10 million euros for right-back. There is no negative situation regarding Gela Du. Negotiations are ongoing, for, McTominay and Du. W.A. Embasaka is not our priority. McTominay is currently on holiday following Scotland's Euro 2024 campaign. He will soon return for pre-season training ahead of the 2024-25 season. Eric Ten Hag has hailed the return to Manchester United of club legend Ruud van Nistelrooy. With his own future resolved following Sir Jim Ratcliffe's decision to stand by the man who masterminded last season's FA Cup triumph, Ten Hag has since been armed with a new-look backroom team. Fellow Dutchman René Haak and Van Nistelrooy have both joined the coaching staff that will support Ten Hag over the course of the coming campaign. The trio got a first glimpse of the playing talent they will get to work with last night as United began their pre-season campaign with an underwhelming performance and 1-0 defeat against Rosenborg. A team which featured Marcus Rashford, Casemiro and Mason Mount in the first half, struggled to create goal-scoring chances, but Ten Hag is confident his compatriot and former Old Trafford favourite Van Nistelrooy will work his magic with United's forward line. He is a very ambitious manager, said Ten Hag. He has a great skill set as a manager so he will help the team. He will help individual players but definitely he will help the team in all the team functions in football but definitely attacking wise and pressing wise. Ten Hag, meanwhile, was less than impressed with the performance of his makeshift team in Norway and sounded an earlier warning to any players who dip below the standards he expects. The result is not secondary, Ten Hag told the MUTV. Of course, we play pre-season but at Man United the standard is you win games and definitely don't lose games. So if you can't win, don't lose the game, like we did in the last second of the game. But of course, the performance is more important and the performance was below standards. Let's say he, Vitek, got the opportunity from the team to make some very good saves because the performance from the team is, by far, not good enough. We can talk about everything that is bad, but I'm not that guy. I have seen and this is not the standard for top football. Top football, you have to achieve much higher standards, starts with any individual, make sure you're fit. I know we can't be match fit in this moment, I know you need these games. The opponent is in the league, they have a much higher fitness level, but we are Man United and players from Man United, a team from Man United, should perform better. Manchester United News, Exclusives and Analysis Teenage sensation Lanery Euro is holding out for a dream transfer to Real Madrid despite an offer from Manchester United. The 18-year-old centre-back broke into Lille's first team during the 2022-23 season and went on to make 44 appearances for the League One outfit last term, alerting a host of top European clubs to his prodigious talents. Real Madrid are avid admirers of Euro, as are United, but only the latter have lodged an official bid with Lille to sign the youngster this summer. While United remain dogged in their pursuit of Euro and have had a €63 million, Euros, 53 million pounds, 
bid accepted by Lille, French outlet Lekip maintains that Real Madrid remain the defender's preferred destination. A different report from the Athletic delves deeper into the current state of play regarding Euro and details that several of the Frenchman suitors, including Liverpool, have backed off after being told the player only wants Real Madrid. Manchester United, however, have not given up hope they can persuade Euro to change course and are likely to persist in trying to do so all the while that he is still a Lille player. Lille president Olivier Letang has already made it clear that Euro will be sold this summer. The centre-half has just one year left to run on his current contract and it's believed Real Madrid will attempt to play the long game and snare him for free if Lille do not lower their demands. While Euro seemingly only has eyes for Real Madrid, he did take to social media earlier this summer to call out a fake account which had bluntly ruled out a transfer to Old Trafford. The profile at Euro Lanery brutally said, I don't want you at Man United. Leave me alone, to which the real Euro replied, fake account. You guys are psycho. Signal this account. Manchester United completed a deal for Bologna striker Joshua Xerxes over the weekend and signing a central defender is now a priority for the club's top brass. As well as pursuing a deal for Euro, the Red Devils are also in talks with Bayern Munich over a deal for Matthijs de Ligt with the expectation being that United would sign either him or Euro, rather than both players. Manchester United got their pre-season campaign underway with a friendly against Rosenborg on Monday evening. But as Eric Ten Hag ran his eyes over a 25-man travelling squad getting some work in their legs with a month to go before their Premier League campaign kicks off, the transfer mill has kept churning. After striker Joshua Xerxes' arrival from Bologna was announced on Sunday afternoon, Monday morning brought news of a confirmed departure with Willy Cambuala heading to Spain. But a World Cup winner has also earmarked an upgrade for Casemiro and a couple of other sales are farewells are expected in the coming days, including the possible exit of Mason Greenwood. Here are the big stories from Old Trafford. Cambuala departs. Willy Cambuala has left Manchester United and joined Villarreal on a five-year deal. United will receive an initial fee of £4.6 million for the defender, rising to a potential total of £9.6 million. As part of the deal, United have a buyback option for three years and a sizable share of any sell-on fee. Cambuala had a year left on his current deal and had rejected United's offer of a new contract. Cambuala joined United in 2020 from French League 2 club Sox and made 10 appearances for the first team. But could he end up back at Old Trafford in the future? Greenwood bid. Manchester United have received a £21 million offer with a 50% sell-on clause from Italian club Lazio for exiled forward Mason Greenwood. The Englishman, who is sure to leave Old Trafford this summer given his not part of the first-team picture, was on the verge of joining French club Marseille. However, a public outcry from the club's fans and the city's mayor calling for the deal to be scrapped has seemingly put the transfer on the brink of collapse. Now the striker looks set for Serie A. Ugarte upgrade. Manchester United target Manuel Ugarte would be the perfect replacement for Casemiro because he would bring a fighting spirit to the team, claims Emmanuel Pitti. The PSG holding midfielder has been linked with a move away from the Parc des Princes this summer after falling out of favour with manager Luis Enrique. And Pitti, the former Arsenal and France star, says he would be a clear upgrade on Brazilian Casemiro. Ugarte is mentally and physically strong as well as a holding midfielder who is ready to fight and I think he's got the qualities to adapt himself to the Premier League, Petit reckoned. The World Cup winner went on to explain why in greater detail.